All right, so you and I are constantly understanding the functions more and more every couple of months, you right, know? Right, yeah. So Clara here did a great video on doing kind of an analogy of, of talking about how SI really is. Oh, good. Like, yeah. what's it really like? She yeah. has Savior SI, so it's like, okay, let's see a from the first-person point of view of what the hell is going on with SI Very exactly. Nice. You and I know it in our own life as kind of like, oh, I'm going to use it to like for, for housework and chores and building systems and stuff. Yeah. And Clara's like, yeah, it's good for that, too. <laughs> you know, there's more to it than that. Right, of course. Uh, but it's like, this this building blocks of I'm gonna learn this and then I'm gonna learn this and I'm gonna learn this so the SI steps that we're familiar with yeah right yeah but then like how that's then connecting to this more any network you okay. know okay filling in the so, gaps yeah yeah I want to play a clip that she did here on her YouTube channel and then kind of like get your thoughts on it there's a lot to say about structure when it comes to SI when you look at things through SI you definitely see the structure in the thing and here comes my analogy <laughs> I came up with it yesterday night as I could not fall asleep and Listen, if you ever played uh, role-playing games, you will know that there is a certain mechanic that's going on that's like you know that you have to solve a mystery and you are being told that this one guy knows something about it. So you go to him, you ask him if he can help you and he says, mm, maybe I can help you, but you need to do this quest for me. Oh, so yeah. he sends you off to some other guy who says, mm, maybe I can help you, but you need to do this quest for me. And he sends you off to another guy. So you keep making these quests so that in order to proceed to this final uh, solution. And I think SI is kind of seeing this net of interconnections, you know? It's the it's looking at the whole quest from above and seeing that if you want to do this, you need to do that. And in order to do this, you need to do that. And in order to do this, you need to do that. And so and so and so on. So that is the kind of structure that you see with SI. Right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Owning all of the steps. Like we see it, we see it very very outwardly like we're not we're not in it i don't know what quite they're doing but i all i know is that in some way they're following some kind of physical map where they have to get the information and once they fill in all the gaps of the information it like it like attaches to this greater any puzzle where all of the I, I've connections that, are right i've noticed that we've had to train ourselves to trust that process yeah you know if we're working on something new like in business or whatever it's like I, I don't know the 50 steps it takes to win at this, so yeah. I just have to put my head down and do one after another. Yeah. But I have a hard time trusting if I do number two, it'll lead me to number three. Right. If I do number three, it'll lead me to number... I have a hard time trusting that. Oh, yeah, completely. But they seem to be just like automatic. trusting that process. Right. Yeah. As soon as I see that somebody is trying to lay out order, like especially like in a manual, I'm like, how do I just rip out a page or skip over here? Like I, I get too... I can't trust. I can't go by the book. Yeah. I want to just break it somehow. We're, I wouldn't play the Zelda games. Oh, Once the no guy way. tells me to do That's the two right. or three steps, I'm like... You're like, fuck this. Yeah, I'm not doing your steps. <laughs> I'm find my own way. The way that I use it is like I have a knack for manual things like crafts, like crocheting, knitting or something like that. So I will pick them up quite easily because I know that if I learn one stitch, I yeah. will know all of them. It's just a matter of using this one stitch yes. for other bigger things, but it's all based on this one little loop that you have to know how to make. And so if this, if I learn this one thing, then I can then go on and use it in so many other things sensorily. <laughs> so I think that is the organized in the SI. And, you know, it translates to so many other things in life. Like, I, I talk about crocheting, but honestly, you can organize people this way because you know that if you want to have some uh, project done, you need to first go and talk to this person, then you need to do this and that and this and that, and you need to take into account all of these things in order to finally, you know, bind it all together. And you know where these things are interconnected and which one is the first to go because without it, you will not be able to move forward. So it is, in fact, a lot of this if this then that kind of going through stuff in, in a very I don't, I don't even know it's a very automatic for me and sure it can apply to cleaning but that's <laughs> like that's not necessarily the only thing that it's good for i think it's good for a lot of things okay that's so genius like that is so genius i want to like process that for two seconds just it's brilliant to see that because I've, I've seen it from the outside looking in. Like, I'll, I'll see what she's talking about later where she's like, I'm good at crocheting. So I love I love arts and crafts. I see what they're doing. I see that all the time. Like, I'll see them doing, like, tutorials or even, like, on print, Pinterest boards. And I'll see them, like, it's funny because, like, SE has, like, really clumpy and, like, there's, just, like, blocky art. But, like, right. the SIs, they'll have, like, this very, like, I don't even know how to say, like, vine, almost, like, thin, but, like, I don't know, willowy art. 
Like where like all the lines are really yeah, small. Yeah, yeah. Like, the lettering is really tiny. It's like, complete. It's very it's symmetrical. Yes. Like there's just like a perfection to it. Like, you know, that like callig- calligraphy, like that kind of art. Anyways. So like think of embroidery, like what she's talking about or crocheting or whatever. I'll watch them like do like whole tutorials on like the perfect stitch. Like owning the hell out of this perfect stitch. And I'm like, I'm not patient enough for that. That is amazing. That's a beautiful. But like what she's saying there, I'm like, okay, I'm starting to see a more pure form of like, that's why you're doing that. That makes so much they, sense. They if you just own be, yeah. the hell out of like, if I can perfect this one part, if I can perfect this one thing, then I could just start They're laying out the, the process. bricks. They're trusting the process. That, yeah. that seems to be the thing. The, the rest of us freak out and not trusting the process. Oh, yeah, yeah. I want to If I jump. learn the basics, how's that really going to help me at step seven, eight, nine, and ten? Oh, my God. Like, and that's all that you and I talk about. <laughs> but, like, we talk about it from, like, an outside perspective. But even think of, like, it's been a Ed trained, Milet, Yeah, it's like, been a trained thing we've had to learn how to do. Uh, yeah, like, trusting that... If I own, like thinking of like Maslow's Pyramid, if I actually, actually own that like first laid down brick, like I'm building a wall and I like own the hell out of like make a perfect brick, lay it perfectly. If you like actually get it right, then when you go to put the second one down and you perfectly lay that one down, you can actually build it. It still also is good for house cleaning. actually the bulk section so you have our gigantic bleach and actually I also house I can't grab it here but this is a spray bottle um, of bleach and water combination and I just put it in there because it's not marked or labeled but it's sitting next to the bleach so that way the family remember oh this yep that's how we do it just don't label it <laughs> hey Shan it's a true story it's like I was like using some rubbing alcohol to clean out my ears she's like oh wait stop that's bleach I'm like Right next to all the other alcohols in a clear bottle? You don't want to label that? It's like, I had let it be because I'm like, obviously, so so this is sensory and intuition. He's like, I need help overdo the sensory labels. Because to me, I'm like, oh, you can obviously smell the bleach and it's a yellow color yeah. compared to the clear alcohol obviously. bottles. And to me, I'm like, it's so obvious what the, is As in it's this bottle. obviously sitting in a line with other <laughs> bottles. As I go into a dark closet in a hurry. <laughs> Great, so when the kids go under the sink for their squirt guns for the water fight, grab the uh, bleach, not bleach, and spray it in your fucking eyes. <laughs> and it's not your fault. That's the lesson.